Hey everybody. Um, because of a bunch of requests I got, I decided to do a series on actual trap sets. So it's going to be right from the fall beaver trapping open water right through to muskrat. Some mink sets that I use, Martin, Fisher, Wolf sets, Fox, Lynx, um, Otter, and so on. And uh, so, you know, for all the young guys out there, I hope uh, it helps with some of uh, the questions you had, and, uh, and good luck on the line. Alrighty, enjoy. Okay guys, this is a, a set I, I generally have a couple of them set up around my trap line. It uh, takes a long time to make, and I, when I have them, they're usually right close to my camps because it's something I might put together when I'm bored in the evening if I've had an early day or whatever. But you see it's a, a running pole set with a little cubby built up, however high you want it off the ground. Bait's in the back there. This branch here holds a 220 or a 160, and uh, little notches there. It's a you know pretty basic set, and then these are all logs that are ripped in half, the sides too, and uh, over here one of the logs is just wired in place so that it can be uh, taken off to put the bait in there if you need to, if you don't want to, you know, if the bait's gone and the trap is still set there, you don't have to take the trap out to set it. But I'll show you here what it looks like. And it's, hope that doesn't fall off there. So I like the 220 in here, but the, like I said, the 160 works fine too. And like the Martin boxes and Fisher boxes, this is the way I have my trigger for Martin. They have a tendency to want to put their head right through there and their shoulders get caught on that on the sides and that's the one that I have found is the best trigger position for the Martin. Okay, so you see you got your trap set right in there. Now the other thing you can do is take little sticks, put them even up like so if you want, to just kind of block off that spot and you can do it on the other side. And then I will have a couple little green boughs here. But now you're anchoring your chain. That's the only thing I, with this set is if it's up high enough, you can get it to where the uh, animal will hang free. But this. Uh, chain on this trap a little shorter than the one I had on here before, I'm guessing. This won't quite reach. I said the reason I like to keep my traps up above the ground around, just around here, for whatever reason, I, I see other guys on here, they have their traps set where they're hanging against the tree. And, uh, you know, which is great if, if they're not having troubles, it's perfect, it's, you know, but, boy, if I have that, I have squirrels and mice chewing the fur up, something fierce, and, but I guess if the guys are checking traps every day, I wish I could do that, but I don't have that kind of time. Okay, so now we're just going to slide some 
spruce boughs right down into here just to kind of camouflage things a little bit and there you go you got a martin he'll come and try and wiggle through there or a fisher will just you know bolt his way right through it but deadly set but like I said the only thing wrong with it time consuming to make not to set up just to build the first time so we'll see what happens alrighty 